Hello dear students and welcome to this channel. In this video, we will be discussing how drugs are metabolized. So basically, lipid soluble drugs are reabsorbed in the kidney because the kidneys cannot sufficiently eliminate them. Therefore, these lipophilic drugs must first be metabolized into more hydrophilic drugs using two sets of reactions which are phase 1 and phase 2 metabolism. Phase 1 metabolism reactions convert lipophilic drugs into more hydrophilic drugs by introducing or unmasking a polar functional group. And these reactions are oxidation which is mainly mediated by cytochrome B450 enzymes and reduction also hydrolysis. And oxidation is, is considered the most common phase 1 metabolism reactions. It is also very important to mention that these metabolism reactions mainly occur in the liver. These reactions can make the drug's effect to increase or decrease or maybe it will not change the, the effect of the drug. But mostly the effect of the drug uh, decreases when it goes through metabolism. And variations in cytochrome B450 activity enzyme may alter the drug's efficacy and the risk of side effects. And the reason for these variations has been shown that mostly it is the genetic variation of the patients. These enzymes are very important target for pharmacokinetic drug interactions. Some drugs are, in, are capable of increasing the activity of cytochrome B450 enzymes and these drugs we call them inducers, while others inhibit the, the, the activity of this enzyme and we call them inhibitors. When these enzymes are induced, it can lead to increase the metabolism of the drug which will lead to decrease in the plasma concentration of that specific drug and the loss of the pharmacological effect. While if, if, the drug, uh, if some drugs inhibit those uh, enzymes, they will lead to decrease in the metabolism of the drug which will increase the effect as well as the side effect of medications. If the metabolite from phase 1 metabolism is sufficiently polar, it can be excreted from the kidneys. But many phase 1 metabolites are too lipophilic and they must go through phase 2 metabolism which is mainly about conjugation reactions, especially glucuronidation. And because of the enzymes that are responsible for the conjugation reactions are not developed in the infant, and gray baby syndrome can be seen in the neonates. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you again.